All right, we're out in the pumpkin patch, guys, and uh, we're going to be placing some mats and getting our pumpkins growing in the right direction. Good morning. Brad here at Yankee Living. We're about ready to uh, do a little bit of uh, pumpkin management here. Uh, we're going to uh, take these pumpkins, uh, get them to grow in the direction we want them, and place mats underneath them. We're going to kind of put these pumpkins in bed, you might say. Give them a little bit better chance of uh, not rotting on the bottom and, uh, uh, you know, just give them a better chance at uh, growing, period. As you can see, the one we're looking at right now, the pumpkin is kind of growing along the vine. If you can picture that pumpkin getting very large, you know, uh, it would overlap the vine on the left and then it would slowly kind of uh, smother it out and it would probably not mature as big as it could. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to level the ground out underneath it. Then I'm going to put a mat underneath it and then I'm going to slowly turn it to the right a little at a time each day until it's almost at a 90 degree angle. So this way here it's growing away from the vine. So let's get that done. As you can see, I'm using a very sophisticated tool here to do this. roots. Try to make it as smooth as possible where you want the pumpkin to end up. Now, now this matting that I'm using kind of reminds me of the back of a carpet, but it's not that. A lot of landscapers use it. It's fairly, it's fairly thick. It's almost like fiberglass, uh, polyester-y like. Uh, it lasts for years. Uh, the water goes through this. That's the nice thing about it. Uh, you can put a piece of board or other material underneath it, but uh, the water has a tendency to set right on. The water and air can pass through this. I'll tell you where this is great. If you're in an area that you get a lot of snow, but yet you're, it's a traffic area that you shovel out a lot and uh, a lot of muddy areas and stuff, you put this on top of that area, it won't uh, slick up on you. You'll be able to walk on it very well, but yet all the water will drain down through it. I use it in my chicken coop area. Uh, I think you might have seen it in another video. If not, you'll probably see it in a future video. But anyways, I'm going to gently lift this pumpkin and get this uh, matting underneath it. Now, I'm going to leave the majority of it out here because that's the direction we want that pumpkin to grow in to begin with. I'm going to have to remember to cover these roots up. Oh, now, I'm going to gently move this pumpkin over right there. And that's as far as I'm going to test it for right now. As you can see, we moved it over about an inch, inch and a half. And we'll go from there. Uh, get a little bit of compost in around these roots here to help them out a little bit. All right, one down and one to go. All right, we're at the second pumpkin, the larger of the two. And I'm going to very gently lift this a little bit to clear. Any debris, rocks, or anything. And it's basically the same thing. This pumpkin's growing out a little bit better than the other one, but we still want to turn it just a little bit. Not an awful lot, but turn it. Let's pick it up and put this mat underneath it very carefully. And we're going to take it and turn it right there. Now that's just about where we need it, right there. And I think we'll, we won't have to touch that one again. So anyways, guys, uh, we'll get back with you uh, with a few more updates as the pumpkins grow. 
You guys have a great day.